Okay, we're live. Welcome back, sports fans. Sorry we had to make the switch over to season cast. We'll get better quality. Zoom in a little bit. Zoom. Angels on the 48-yard line. High formation. Hand off to the eye back. Up the middle. Tripped up. Gain of about two yards, maybe. He's second and nine. Second and nine on the 47 yard line. Denver East in the iPhone, or what do they call it? The pistol motion number one. Hand off, sweep, covered well. Lankins rallied to the ball, gain of about maybe three yards. It's going to be about third and six, maybe. First and ten on about the 36th of the Lampkins. See if they can hold. Drop back. Big hole on the left side. Open it up. Tuckle made by Jackson Barron. Gain of about seven. Second and about three. Oh, we're going to call it three. They call it two. Six and one half dozen. Uh, Lampkins need to rise up here and stop the run. Zoom it. There you go. And I'll tell you the first guy through the fullback. He's not going to get too many yards. A couple yards. Maybe enough for the first down, though. It's going to be third and about. Well, they're getting, they gave him the first down. Man. They got lucky. That wasn't supposed to happen. I mean, that's the end of the first quarter.
First and 10 on the 25, Denver East. In the I-back formation, get it to the I-back. He's got the outside. Eubanks gains about 10 yards. Joe Van Meter makes the tackle. Ball up the right at the middle, gain of about seven or eight. Second and two for the Angels on about the six yard line. Back set. Looks like he's going to run it right at the gut. A little off tackle. He stopped. Lamb can hold strong. May have gotten a first down, though. First and ten on the well, first and goal on the three yard line. Power formation. Angels hand. Oh, it's a fake. You're going around the end, being pursued. Nice play by the Griffin Dacness and bring him down. Second goal from the one. One yard to go, hands to the eye back. Oh, and he gets blasted. Loss of about seven yards. The Lampkins rise up on second down. What a play by the the interior line. Dacness, Ben Meter. He's going to bring up third down in the ninth, third and goal, nine yard line. See if the Lampkins can hold strong here. Four yard line, what a ripoff. I don't know what they're talking about. He broke the tackle. They should be way back at the time, at least. Hometown refs here, what's going on? Anyway, it's going to be four, third and four. Man in motion, he moves. It's going to be backing him up. We're going to get the five yards back that we should have got on the first play. Eight forty five left in the second quarter. It's gonna be third and nine. Third and goal from the nine yard line. Let's see if Denver East has pounded the ball. Let's see if they're gonna pass. Last time they passed, they got picked off by Nikki. They line up with trips to the right, solo on the left. Let's see if they're gonna to try to spread them out and run it up the gut or if they're gonna to actually to pass. Man in motion. Sweep, fake sweep. Not there. Almost to the quarterback sack. Oh, 
the flames broken up by Kripodakis in the end zone. Beautiful play. Tipped it just enough that they didn't, they weren't able to get their hands on it. It's going to bring a fourth down. Let's see what Ted Brees does. Looks like they're going to kick. You have to line up for a field goal. It's going to be about, let's see, 25-yard field goal. Got to watch the edge. Number one, Nicky, can, Nicky McGuire can fly. He can get in there and block this kick. I think he's going to have to field just in time. Snap is high. Bobbled. We're going to get him to bottle him up. It's going to be down at the 10-yard line. Lambkins is going to take over first and 10 on the 10. Lambkins going to break. Good defense and a break always helps. See, Morales made a good play on the end there. Now the offense comes out. Let's see if they can make some noise. Split now wide to the left is going to be Jackson Barron. Slots Nikki on the outside right is going to be uh, Alex Augustine. Hand off. Now he's going to pass. Coming across, Joe Van Meter gained about five yard line, gained about five yards up to the 15. Nice little play. We're gonna call it second and we'll say it's a gain of four. We're gonna call it second and six. Zay so Elmore signs out. Let's see who we got in the back. It looks like it's gonna be C.J. Anderson. I'm sorry, C.J. Johnson. Baron goes in motion. Tough snap. Pick to Nicky. Put the move on him. Drop down at about the 21. It should be good enough for a first. See, and it is enough for a first down. First and 10 Lampkins from the 21 yard line. Uh, Nikki's going to be in the slot on the right side of the offense. Campos takes a snap, hands off to Anderson. I'm sorry, Johnson, number three, gets bottled up pretty quick. CJ is a sophomore. He's about 5'10, 125 pounds, maybe. Maybe 110. Now I'm just getting CJ. He goes to about 140 pounds. That gets quickly to the line. Let's see what they got. Called in the play. It looks like they're going to be twins to both sides. Campbell's drops back, looking right. Got Baron. Oh, and he dropped it. It would have been a great kick. Jackson Baron had to hit him in the hands, but it was kind of behind him and he's twisted. And that was a been a tough catch. Brings up third and about 12 for the Lampkins. See what they do. They've got good blocking up front so far. They protected camp as well. And there's an offsides hopefully on them. Offsides Denver East. That's going to give the Lampkins five extra yards. That's going to be third and about seven from the 24 yard line. Hard con gets them every time. Campos is like Aaron Rodgers out there. Getting the jump offside. Third and seven from the 24-yard line with 6.52 left in the second quarter. Bad snap. Picked up by Campos. Throws it out. DeMarco had a chance at it, but it was at his feet. Tough way to end the series. I think Lampkins are going to have to punt. We have an injury timeout. Lopez back to punt for the Lampkins. And snap is good. Lines it up. 
not a great punt, but let's see if he can get a bounce. It's going to be picked up. Let's see what happens. Then for each player, Jim rushed in there, tried to grab the ball, and Lampkins are saying it's theirs. And it is! Lampkins gets the turnover. Whoa. I don't know what the Denver East player was thinking about jumping in there like that, but good for him and good for Lampkins. So it's going to be Lampkins' ball. It's essentially a... It should be a 21-yard gain, actually, on the punt. Actually, the turnover, just being funny. Let's see what we got here. We got twins to the right with Van Meter and Barron. Quincy left with McGuire and Augustine. C.J. Anderson takes the carry. No, that's Josiah. Josiah takes the carry. Turns it up. He breaks it. Ten yard. Oh, we got a late flag. Pretty good gain. It was going to be a gain of about 15 yards, but I'm guessing this is coming back. Let's see what they call. Holding against the Lampkins. Let's see what the net gain is going to be. Hopefully, he was a fair amount of best line of scrimmage when they threw the flag. So it's going to be second and no, it'll be first down. It'll be at the 42. So it's going to be first and about 13 from the 42 yard line. Trip to the right. Twins to the left. Looks like they may pass. Let's see if they got a trick up their sleeve. Here comes the reverse. Wildcat. De Griffin Dacness with a good run. The so Campos took a break. Dick Griffin Dacness comes into the game. Made a nice looking play there. Let's see what the Lampkins do at QB. Looks like they're going to keep Dacness in the game. Griffin looks tough tonight. Looks really good on defense. He had a heck of a run there. First down, Lampkins on the 40, 43 of the Angels. Trips right. Nope. Now they're switching. Nick's direction traffic out there. Telling them to go back to the other side. Here comes motion. Could be a screen. Now they're going to go deep for Nicky. They got him. They got him. They got him. They got him. Interference. There's the flag. It's going to be a pass interference. It's going to be net. Let's see if it's a spot foul or if it's a march off. Nicky got wide open on that play. Just got interfered at the end. So it's going to be a 10 yard gain. So it's going to be first and 10 from about the 33 yard line. 28, Mike's. My mistake. Collins lights up with a shotgun. Hand off to Josiah. Fumbled. Picked up by the Angels. Tackled. Tried to do the read option and it got stuck in his hands. Turnover. Uh, Denver East just spiked the ball, and now they're going to get a penalty for unsportsmanlike conduct. So it's going to be back them up about 15 yards. Okay, Holmes. Holmes makes a nice, cut, nice play. I can tell you the penalty marker is going to be unsportsmanlike conduct. Denver East decided to spike that ball. They're going to back him up 15. There we go. Oh, not as far as I thought. 10. 41 yard line. It's going to be first and 10 for the Angels. Looks like they're in the pistol formation with twins on each side and an eye back. 
QB takes a snap handoff. Right up the gut. Gain of about 10 yards. 12 yards. Jackson Barron with the tackle. It's going to be at about the 48-yard line. 49, let's call it. 5:03 left in the first or in the first half. Second quarter is almost coming in. 0-0. Zero, zero. Then Bruce the pistol again. Drops back to pass. Looking right. Looking left. He's got a man open. Number one catches it. Caught. Tackled down by Trenton Price. But it's about a 44-yard gain. They're going to be on about the five-yard line. First and goal. It's going to be on the seven-yard line. 4.30 left in the second quarter. See if the Lampkins can rise up again on defense. Denver East lines up in an eye formation with the big pullback. He's a big little kid. We got a timeout on the field. Timeout Lampkins. Looks like they only had 10 guys on the field. But that's all right. They need. They have two more left. Four twenty-one left in the second quarter. Zero zero, but the Angels are driving. Coach Bush is going to try to rally the defense again. Beautiful night here in downtown Denver. Nice and smoggy. No, it's actually a really good night. Not as hot as it's been. A little bit of a breeze. All right, here comes the Angels lining up at seven. We're going to go in the I formation. Number 11 takes barking out orders. Takes a snap, gives the eye back off the tackle. Nothing there. I think leans forward for about four. He was initially hit at the five, and it's going to be a nominal gain, but he broke the tackle and now it gets down to the three. So, gain of four, it's going to be second and goal from the three. Second down. 3.55 left in the second quarter. In Brees in the I formation again. I wouldn't be surprised if they handed to the first man through that big pullback. Let's see what they do. Surveying the scene, taking their time. Hand up to the I back, second man through. Met it real early. Nice play by the D line. Time out, Denver East. Great play there by Estrada, breaks through and makes the tackle. So timeout with 3.25 left in the second quarter. It's third and goal from the four-yard line. See if the Lampkins can rise up again one more time. Get a good goal line stand here. Keep the game at zeros. Sneak one in before halftime and go into the halftime. I mean, the lead would be a nice turn of events.
Defense takes field. Then Reese is going in that pistol formation again with an eye back. Twins on both sides. They're going to spread them out. See if they actually throw it this time or if they're going to try to run. They've been spreading them out and pounding the rock. But let's see what happens. Right guard has no clue what's going on. They're actually going to pass. Way over his head. Incomplete. That'll bring a fourth down. Good pressure by Josiah. Or Quincy Elmore, I think it was. And Makai Holmes. Let's see what they do. Are they going to kick? Or are they going to go for it? Looks like they're thinking about going for it. Pretty sure they're going to try to sneak one in over. Yeah, and they are going for it. Again, the pistol formation with twins on each side. They're going to spread them out. Let's see if they're going to try to do a quick hitter. Memphis had good pressure last time. Hopefully they can get in there again. I'd be shocked if they run it, but you never know. Through 21 left in the second quarter. Big play here. Fourth down and four. Then Breeze takes it down, draws back, looking up. Pressure, slant, touchdown. So the first, first score of the game is going to go to the Denver East Angels on this four yard slant. Snuck in between guys. Nice delivery by the QB. Give credit where credit's due. They got a little lucky, but they scored nonetheless. See, the snap was an issue on the field goal attempt last time. Let's see what happens on the oh, extra point here. Late guy running out. See if they can get him lined up. It's going to be a delay game if they don't get moving here. And they call a timeout to avoid the delay. So there's a timeout with 3.17 left in the second quarter. Denver East just scored on a four-yard slant. 6 nothing at the juncture. Plenty of time for the Lampkins answer. Lampkins don't talk too long. They get out there. They're aching to get a uh, block or a bad snap here. And Reese might line up for two. Yeah, they're going to go for two. No, no confidence in that kicking. That's... Snapper and kicker combination. So the Lampkins counter with the timeout of their own. Because they weren't ready for that. They thought they were going to kick. Little game of cat and mouse here. Let's see if they can line up to kick it now. But Denver East broke huddle after the Timeout looked like they would put their kicker back in, but let's see what happens. They might really be going for two. Who knows? We'll find out in a moment. Pretty well played game by both defenses so far. There's been some turnovers, some bend and no break action, but then Reese strikes first. Let's see if that gets propels the Lampkin to have a little bit more sense of urgency on the offense. All right, let's see what they do. Looks like they're going to go for two. Yep, that, no, they're going to kick. Now they're going to kick the extra point. They must have just wanted four columns to burn that last, or their second time out. All right, let's see if they have any confidence in the snapper and the holder and the kicker. Snap is good, kick is down. And it is no good. 
Wide right. So it's six nothing. Six nothing with three thirteen or three seventeen left in the second quarter. See what the Lampkins do. They're gonna have turn in price because he's gonna be the deep guy. High school football, they kick off from the 40-yard line. Kickoff, the kickoff goes deep. Looks like he might have a shot. Maybe it's a, nope, it's going to go out of bounds. Nope. Price with the return. Breaks one tackle. Bumps the new man. Bounces off. Heads up. Gets about the 25 yard line. Nice play. Decent run. Lampkins come out on offense with 3.11 left in the second quarter. Lampkins first and 10 from the 25, 26. It's going to be twins to the, river, to the left, single to the right. C.J. Anderson in the backfield of the Campos. Jackson Barron in motion. Looking over to the middle. Two guys in the area, Van Meter and Nicky. Maybe a miscommunication on routes. Second and ten, Lampkins. To the right is going to be Barron and McGuire. To the left is going to be, looks like Augustine. Use the campus in the shotgun. Bad snap. Fumble recovered by the Angels. Not a good, not a good answer to this, to the uh, score that they just gave up. But that's okay. Angels are going to be at about the 29-yard line, first and 10, with 3:01 left in the first half. Let's see if the Lampkins can rise up and get a TO themselves. Denver East is going to they look a little bit out of sync. Looks like they're going to go in the I formation with two wide receivers and a tight end. Looks like a running formation, but let's see what happens. Under center, takes snap, hand off the eye back, breaks through. Tackle made by Daskins. Dak, Dak, I mean, he gained about 14 yards. Counter trade. Some good pull blocks by Denver East. Making. And that guy looked read the holes pretty well, so Inverse is gonna go with the I formation again. Clock running. Two thirty left in the first half. Inverse up six nothing. Takes a snap. And see the second man through. Big hole. Dragging people with him, being of about 12 yards. It's going to be about first and goal and about the three.
Clock running with just, about, just over two minutes left in the first half. Inverse is taking their time. First and goal from the four. Takes a snap, eye back, off tackle, end zone, touchdown, right at the gut. Let's see if Denver East goes for two this time. Got some tired Lampkins out there on defense. Giving Denver East all kinds of confidence. They're going to attempt the extra point. Not a great kick last time. We, they still have confidence in this kicker, but let's see what happens. This bad snap the first time they tried the field goal. Missed a wide right on the extra point last time. Decent snap, a little high. Kick is up and good. It's going to be 13 nothing. 138 left in the first half. I'm going to pull out the big guns and put Nikki in the back. See if, see if they get a ball kick to Nicky and see if he can make something happen here. Denver's kicks off. It's going to be fielded by Nicky. That's a bounce. Gets a bad running head start. Finds a lane. He could go. Hey, sir. He's up. Walking it off. He should be all right in a minute. Hopefully just a little stinger. Oh, and a block in the back by Fort Collins. It's going to bring it back about 10 yards. Campbell's back looking for a curl. Finds Jackson, misses it. It's going to be second and ten. Campbell six snap, fixed handoff, rolls out to the left. Delivers a high pass, caught by Jackness, breaks a tackle, 
up to the 40 yard line. First down. Nice play by Deckness. He's been all over the place tonight. Deckness takes a break. Nicky's back out there. Campos looks over. Turning price. Tries to break a tackle. Clock running with 45 seconds left in the second quarter. Collins needs to get a big play here. Campos drops back. That's Nikki over in the middle. Breaks the tackle. Catches it. Down to the 35 yard line. Lankins quickly to the line with 30 seconds left, and they spike the ball. It should be a penalty. Can't blow up the center like that on a spike. First and 10. Well, it's going to be second and 10 after the spike. From the 35 yard line. With 26 seconds left in the quarter. So let's see if Collins can answer with something. The middle's been open all night. Then Brees can't guard Nikki. See how they line up. They're going to have Ben Meter. Nikki in the slot. Looks like they're going to have bunch formation on the, on the right side. They haven't lined up in this formation yet. Bunch formation, C.J. Anderson, or Johnson in the backfield. Snap. Anderson with the clutch. Nicky with the block. C.J. down to the 15-yard line. we got flags all over the place. Johnson with the nice catch and run. Sort out the penalties. They think there's going to be more than one. Sixteen seconds left in the half. Couple penalties out there.
So after all that, it's going to be first and ten for the Lampkins. Second and seven on the thirty-two yard line. Here we go. A lot of confusion on the field. Lampkin's call. Those are deep. Cut. Drop. One second left in the half. This deck. Nice throw. Almost got there. One second left, they're going to try the field goal. This is going to be about a 49-yard field goal. Snap is down, kick is up, and... Just short. So at halftime, it's going to be Denver's 13, or Collins 0. We'll take a break.
Welcome back, Lampkin fans. We had a rather likely lightning delay that hopefully is over. Teams are back on the field warming up. Should get going in a couple minutes. See if the Lampkins do long rest there, help them out. Have to get their offense back on track. They've had some drives. Just can't cash it in. Oh, they put 10 minutes on the clock for a warm up. So we got a little bit more time. So, let's see. 9.53 approximately, we'll be playing some football. First half, the Lampkins look like it's their first game with a bunch of new starters. And that was to be expected. They lost 18 starters from last year. Had a little bit of depth last year, but not a lot. But they're playing hard. They're playing tough. See how they answer the bell in the second half here. We'll be right back. Get going in here, but we'll get going here in about three minutes. Hopefully, the lightning is gone for good and we won't have to worry about any more delays. Most teams warming up 13 nothing and a half. Lampkins look pretty good on certain drives, they just can't cash in the touchdown. A couple penalties here, a couple turnovers, and Kind of got them out of the game. The defense is on the field a lot that first half, so hopefully they're nice and rested after the long break. But then Reese has proved that they're just going to pound the ball. Let's see what the Lamb can bring to the table in the second half here. Hopefully they got their 
Second win. A couple Lampkins are gimpy on the sidelines. Hopefully nothing too serious. Nicky McGuire has had a great first half, but took a shot at the, at the legs on a kickoff return. It was kind of gimpy. Seems to be moving, moving okay now, but we'll see what happens. Looks like we got a couple kids on the training table looking at various leg injuries. Jamar Mitchell's moving a little bit slow. We got a minute to go before we get rolling again. It should be Denver East ball. Lampkins got the ball to start the game, so I'm just going to make the assumption that we're kicking off. A little brisk here tonight. Not sure where that came from. A little windy, a little cooler. Feels kind of nice, but should have brought a coat. What are you going to do? And both teams are looking like they're ready to start the second half. It's kicking off. The kicker here, I think his name is Lopez. I think the max prep is wrong here with who they got listed as number eight, but. He potentially has a big leg. See what happens here. And we're underway for the second half. Here comes the kick. Got into it pretty good. That's not going to be returned out of the end zone. Big leg by number eight. Express says the kicker's name is Sal Preston. Not sure that's correct, but or soul maybe. Anyway, if you're out there, buddy. He may or may not be the kicker. Then Reese takes over in the pistol formation with an eye back and split wide receivers on both sides. Pounded the ball the first half. Here comes the man in motion. Hand off up the middle. No, it's a reverse. Good defense by the Lampkins. Had it sealed. Oh, but he gets outside. Dacness had a good good contain, but he got outside. That Griffin Dacness is a player, I'll tell you what. Number seven. He's all over the place on defense tonight. Gain of 10, first of 10 for Denver East on their 30-yard line. 
little razzle dazzle to start the second half. Now they go back to the eye back, eye formation with the big fullback. Straight up the gut. Gain of maybe one. Lampkins rise up. Used to be two yards in a cloud of dust. Now it's two yards in a cloud of uh, that rubber stuff that's on the field. I don't know what they call it. Rubber bits? I don't know. But that stuff gets all over you. Second and eight. They gave him two yards. Second and eight from the 32-yard line. I have eye formation again with one. With split wide receivers. Quarterback under center takes it. Big hand off. He's looking for his guy. Got a guy down low, but turn in price with the interception. Let's see what the. We're going to sort it out. Lampkin ball! Tried to go deep. They had a guy for a minute. The ball's a little bit underthrown, and Price makes a great play. Makes an adjustment. Russell's the ball away from the receiver, and it's going to be Lampkin ball, first and 10 on the 35 yard line. Maybe the 30. Let's see where they mark it. 34 yard line. Lampkin's in business. Campos comes in at quarterback. Let's see what we got out there. Jackson Barron's going to be split right. Nikki in the slot with Alex Augustine on the outside. Josiah Elmore is going to be your running back. Campos in the shotgun, takes a snap, hand off. Elmore up the middle. He's got a, he's got a lane. Good yards, good yards. He gained about 12 yards. Brings the ball to about the 46-yard line, 47-yard line. Good strong run. Elmore comes off. C.J. Johnson comes in to Play running back. Nikki's in the slot. Comes across in motion. It's going to be a run to Anderson. Up the middle. Nothing there. I keep calling C.J. Anderson because the running back from Denver a few years back. I'm getting old and remember all the old guys. C.J. Johnson. I'm sorry, C.J., but that was a loss of two yard line. Got loss of two because of the full Defensive front for the Denver East Angels knocked him down. Campos with nobody in the backfield. Over the middle. Right to the Denver East player, but he missed it. He was looking for CJ CJ Johnson in the slot, but nothing there. So it's gonna be third and about twelve from the forty four yard line. Augustine splits out wide left. Nicky McGuire in the slot with tight end Joe Van Meter. On the right side, we have twins with Elmore and Jackson Barron. Hard count, nothing. Changing the play. Campbell gets ready for the snap. Good snap. Quick, quick hit to Nicky, he drops it. Didn't see that too often. Tried to run before he caught it. Got a little bit too excited. Lampkins are forced to punt. So the Lampkins aren't able to do anything with the turnover. They're going to have to punt. Snap is missed, and he's tackled. It's going to be picked up and running. Then Reese is going to have first ball, first and ten on the 14-yard line. Not a bad snap, a little bit high. May have taken his eyes off the ball. Tough break. Let's see what. See what the lamb can see to respond. Back to the wall already. Ten minutes left in the second or in the third quarter here. Thirteen nothing didn't reach. Ball at the fourteen yard line. First and ten, they're in the eye formation with the big fullback. Ten to pound it up the middle. 
they moved on the right side. It's going to be procedure from Denver East. They're going to back them up five yards, so it'll be first and 15 from the 19-yard line. The right tackle or tight end, I don't know if it was a tight end or tackle. Whoever it was, he moved. Can't be cheating out there. So it's going to be first and 10, 15, I mean. Right at 10 minutes left in the quarter. High formation. Split receivers. Takes a snap. Hand off, running back. Cuts it up. Dacness got him. Joe Van Meter, Griffin Dacness. Gains up about seven yards. Denver's East is happy to just pound the ball because every time they pass it, it gets intercepted. Same formation, high formation. Late arrival on the Duncan defense. Because we got, got right at the gut. Henry Carson makes a nice play. And meter in on the tackle as well, but Carson blew that play up. Got to give those big guys up front some love. It's going to be third and five. From about the nine yard line. See what they do. Eye formation. Oh, we got a whistle on the field. Looks like we got a timeout. Not sure what somebody's somebody from Denver East has to come off. Here we go. Now we're ready to roll. I formation. See if they try to pass. Third and five. Hand off. Of the gut. Shifty back. He's going to be right at the first down. He's a tough runner. Looks like it's going to be fourth down. In maybe half a yard. We're going to call it one, but it's not quite one. Let's see if they go for it. I'm sure they will. Taking the big fullback out, though, that's kind of a surprise. Maybe they're putting a lineman in there. The right back's a big, good sized kid. Let's see if they give it to the up back or what they're going to do. Could be a quarterback sneak. Quick hitter to the fullback. He's not going much. He may lose yards. This could be Lampkin Ball. Yeah, loss of yards. The Lampkin's defense rises up again. This could be Fort Collins football. Nice defensive stand. Give up the turnover. Had their backs against the ball and they play tough. Daskins looks, Dakness looks like he's going to be the QB. Can't tell. Looks like it's Dakness and Elmore in the backfield. Split wide. Dakness on the keep. Turns a corner. He's got some room. A lot of room. He could go. Griffin Dakness with a man to beat. And he gets caught, but a great run. Huge run by the Lampkins. He gets caught at the end, but a gain of about, let's see, 90 yards. No, I'm just kidding. Let's see. He's a good 70 yard run. This kid can play, number seven. See if they can make it happen on offense. Same formation. Hand off. Keeps again. Same play. Turns it up. Gain of about five yards. 
Beckness again, maybe seven, eight yards. I think they're going to call it second and two on this seven yard line. Bringing the line because the spark into, into the lineup. Elmore switches sides on the back. In the backfield, I mean. Connor Trade turns it up. He's got a hole. Is it going to be a touchdown, Josiah Elmore? Lampkins are on the board. Josiah Elmore with a seven-yard run for the touchdown. Great drive. Great answer. We're right back in the ball game. That'll give us some confidence. Lampkins line up for the extra point. Kick down, up and right through the middle. It's going to be 7 13 7. Lampkins with some momentum. Six thirty nine left in the second or in the third third quarter. And Lampkins are showing some life. Got a spark from the quarterback. Big long run. Followed up by a couple of another couple another they ran the same play twice and got about seven, eight yards on the second play and then Josiah finishes it off. Be a good time to kick it out of the end zone too. Now years ago, if you remember Eric Rice as the as the coach for the Lampkins, nine times out of ten in this situation he'd onside it. I don't think he has that same mentality. I hope he doesn't, because that would be a mistake. But you can also, you can almost guarantee Rice was going to try to onside it in this situation. Joe Lopez is the kicker's name. Lines it up. Booms it. Gonna go out of the end zone again. Nice kick. He's got a strong leg. And we got a flag. Do a little extracurricular activities. Looks like somebody from Denver East tried to take a cheap shot of one of our guys. They're gonna back him up 15 yards. So it's gonna be a well 10 yards. Should be first and 10 on the 10. Let's wait for the official call. Dead ball, personal foul against Denver East. Denver East is a little chippy tonight. First down at the 10 yard line. Let's see if the Lampkin defense is going to rise up here. They've been playing well tonight, but they've been on the field a lot. Got a little momentum on our side. Pistol formation, shotgun formation with the eye back. Takes a snap, hands off. Nope, it's a quick hitter. Puts a move on him. Gain of about, oh, we got a flag. Looks like it's going to be a gain of about 20 yards, but it, it could be coming back. Let's wait for the call. Let's hope. You all seeing things. I thought there's a flag. Nope, no flag. Game of 18. First and 10 on the 18 yard line. Shotgun formation. Drops back to pass. Looking over the middle. Almost stacked. Throws again. Broken up nicely. Oh, that's a terrible call if they call that through. That is a terrible call. They called interference. 
They can't be serious. Unless they're going to call a hold. That was not an interference call. Holding on to the Lampkins. Now, there may have been holding there, but that definitely was not pass interference. So it's going to move Denver east 10 more yards. The Angels ball at about the 37, 38 yard line. Pistol formation, four receivers out with a running back. Hand off, big hole. Tackle by Jackson Barron and Joe Van Meter. But have you gained about 10 yards? Thirty-one Campbell, tough runner. They just spread him out a little bit there. Gain a nine, second and one on the 47 yard line. Same formation. Pistol. Split receivers on each side and an eye back. Lampkins jump. Quincy Elmer jumped. It's going to be five yards against the Lampkins. It's going to be first and ten for the Angels. So they cross to 50. Ben Brees has the ball at 48 yard line. 521 left in the third quarter. Clock's running. Hopefully the defense can stop him here, get a stop, and get some momentum going. They had a lot of momentum after that last momentum after that last offensive possession. Motion. It's gonna be a handoff up the gut. He breaks free. This Campbell guy saw. He could go. He gets in there, gets the tackle. Gain of about 44 yards, 40 yards anyway. Gain of 38. Lampkins got their backs against the wall again. Let's see if they can rise up again. That back for Den Reese is a big kid, and he's fast. Pistol formation. Whiteouts are in tight. It's going to be a reverse to number one. And it's still going to get in there for a touchdown. Just when you thought the Lampkins were seizing the momentum, then Reese puts together a good drive, but. We're not done yet. 4-10 left in the third quarter. Let's see what Denver East says. They've had issues with their kicking game. And they're going to try the extra point. This could be an adventure. The snap's been an issue. The hold's been an issue. And the kick's been an issue. Let's see what happens here. Good snap, good hold. Good kick, but he misses it wide right. No, it snuck in there. It wasn't pretty, but it worked. So it's 20 to seven with 4.10 left in the third quarter. Turning price is going to be the deep man. Keeping keeping Nikki rested. Of course, he took that shot at the, towards the end of the first half. Still looks like it's lingering just a little bit. Turn 
Fred and Price and Yasin Morales are in the back. They're deep for the Lampkins. Let's see what happens. This guy hasn't shown the ability to kick it out of the end zone yet. Here comes the kick. Short. It's going to be fielded by Price at about the seven yard line. Turns it up. He's got a little bit of lane. And it closes pretty quick. But decent return, and it's going to be Lampkin ball at about the 31 yard line. First and 10 for Collins on the 31. It looks like Dakness is going to stay in a QB. Let's see, we got Nikki split uh, wide right. Alex Augustine wide left with tight end, and Josiah Elmore is going to be in the backfield. Dagnus takes the snap, hands off to Elmore, turns it upfield, got a lane, tries to cut, knocked down at about the 40 yard line. It should be close to the first down, but it should be about second and one. Good strong run. Somebody's getting up gimpy. Alex Augustine's getting up gimpy. Take a seat, my friend. Looks like he probably he's out there blocking it, but he got rolled up on. I didn't see it, but well, uh, Alex is being attended to. Let's reset. Thirteen to zero at halftime. Lampkins come out and get a quick touchdown. Denver East just answered. But strong first play on the on this drive. Alex gets up. He's trying to run it off under his own power. Hopefully it's just a little bit of a stinger. Almost guaranteed he got rolled up on by somebody coming from when he was blocking and holding his block. Somebody probably hit him in the back of the leg. Twisted ankle, hurt in the knee. Not much fun. So let's see who takes his place out there. It looks like it's going to be Jackson Barron's going to take his place out there. Wide right's going to be Nicky McGuire. Agnes in the backfield with Elmore and Ben Meter. Elmore switches sides. Pass. Nope, he's going to run. He's got a lane. Makes it happen. Gets out of bounds at the 45-yard line. First down, gain of about 15. Kids got quick feet. First and 10 on the 48. They cross midfield. 321 left in the third quarter. Lampkins putting together a decent drive. Dakness takes the snap. Ends off to uh, CJ Johnson. Quick little hitter up the middle. He's quick. And it got lost in there. Gain of about seven. Should be second and three on the 41 yard line. That can show him the ability to run the ball. Mom, look at how Lampkins break huddle. 41 yard line. Power formation. It's going to be a keeper for Dakness. Turns it upfield. Gain of about four. It looks like he has enough for the first down. And they do. First and ten Lampkins. Gain of four. Campos comes back in the game. Dagnus is going to take a break. Give him a good spark. 
So you got Jackson Barron on the outside right. I don't, can't tell who's out there on the left, but Nikki's in the slot. Twins on both sides. Campos takes a snap. Looking for Nick, or looking for whoever that may be. But we got a flag. Turn and Price is out there. Couldn't tell. But we got a holding penalty on the Lampkins. Gonna back him up just a little bit. It's spot penalty, so let's go. It's gonna be 10 straight yards back. It was right at the line of scrimmage. So this is gonna be first and 20 from about the 47 yard line. Split out right is going to be Jackson Barron's spot. Left is going to be Nicky. Griffin. Or Campos takes the ball. Hands off down bar. He's got a hole. Good blocking downfield. Pulls his way through. Game of about 12. Nice run. Good answer for first and 20. Looks like a game of about 12. Gain of 13. Quickly gives the judge out again. Same play gains about three yards, maybe. Fell forward. Two or three yards. It's going to be third down in about four. Third and four. Minute 15 left in the third quarter. Let's see what the Lampkins can do here. You got Nikki one on one on the outside with no help in the safety. He'll be wide open if they throw it. Griffin turns it up. He's got a lane. Nice run. They rolled up on it at the end, but Jackness makes it happen with his feet. Hopefully he's not hurt. Oh, we got a penalty. Let's see what it is. Refs are going to sort this out. Easy Campos comes back in the game of QB. Sons holding on Fort Collins. That's a tough penalty. They're going to back him up. It's going to be third and 14. Lamp is going to line up with two wides on both sides. Then Beaner, the tight end in the slot with Nikki in the slot on the right side. Price and Barron are going to be on the Fumble. Good Breeze has it. Looked like, looked like they had it. So on the turnover, it's going to be Denver East football on about the 45-yard line. 42, actually. Campos had some options out there, but the pass protection broke down a little bit. He tried to run and got knocked out of his hand. Denver East takes over. They're going to be in a power formation. And off straight up the gut, and Lampkins were ready for it. Wrestled down after a gain of maybe one. So this is going to be second and nine. 23 seconds left. This, this will definitely be the last play of this half or this quarter. Dan Brees in a pistol eye formation. Split receivers. This is where they spread them out and run it. Oh, they're going to pass. 
over the middle. Dacness with a nice play. Oh, it's a penalty. I don't know what they're calling this one. If they call that pass interference, that's terrible. Get out of here. Terrible, as Charles Barkley would say. That's the end of the, well, there's one second left in the fourth quarter, but. So one second left in the quarter. First and ten from the 42. Lampkin 42 yard line of the Angels. Line up with the pistol. Same formation. Snap, handoff, off the gut. He's got some yardage. Tough tackle by Van Meter, but he gains about three or four yards. We'll call it a gain of four. That's the end of the, end of the third quarter. So 12 minute quarters in high school football. Second down in about seven. Offside.
Drops back. Oh, handoff. Got a little bit of a crease. Close quick. It's going to be gain of maybe five. And Meter with another tackle. He's got to have about 20 by now. Didn't reason to hurry up. Shotgun formation. Going to drop back the pass. Looking right. Going to get sacked. Yes. DeMarco with a big sack. Nice play. Good coverage downfield by the Lampkins. Leads to the sack. It's going to be third down in about 15. 20, well, it's going to be third and 10. It wasn't as far back as I thought. Nice play by DeMarco out there. Big play here. Third down. Clock running. 335 left in the fourth quarter. Big play. Then Reese lines up his split receivers on each side. Obvious passing down. Lampkins looked to be in his zone. Drop stack pass. Looking over the middle. Nobody, nothing there. Good defense by Nicky McGuire. Fourth down. See, fourth down. Let's see if they're going to go for it. Nope, they're going to punt. Looks like Nicky's going to stay in the back there to try to return the kick. He's going to try to keep it in front of him. Let's see if we can get another block here. Then Reese has their struggles on special teams. Snap is good. Kick is up. Returnable if he wants it, but he's going to let it go. Smart play. Ball rolls to about the 25-yard line. So with three minutes and two seconds left in the fourth quarter, it's going to be Fort Collins ball. First and ten. It's going to be about 24-yard line maybe. Easy Campos comes in the QB the this drive. A couple first downs we can put this away. Shotgun formation. We got a flag, somebody moved. We fall start on four columns, we can back them up five yards, first and fifteen from the 19 yard line, it's going to be thereabouts. Here we go again. Lined up. Power formation. Another whistle. Ball start on the Lampkins. This isn't very good here, fellas. Don't need two penalties to start to drive when this is where you can salt the game away. It's going to be first and 20 from the 14. Campbell takes the snap, hands off to Elmore. Breaks the tackle, bobbles up a little bit, breaks another tackle, gain of a tough run, gain of maybe three. Dackness comes into the game for Campos. Probably going to be some sort of a read option with Dackness. He's quick to back there. Clock running, 235 left in the fourth quarter. Lampkins in no hurry. Deckness, shotgun. 
They get the whole middle of the field open if they decide to pass. I doubt they're going to pass. Read option. Dagnus keeps it. Turns up field. Got a hole. Breaks the tackle. Gain of about seven or eight. So it is second and 17, so that was a tough road. Two and nine left in the fourth quarter. It's going to be third and eight from the 26 yard line. Big play by big play for the Lampkins here. Well played game in the second half by Fort Collins. Scored all the points. Zero at half, 21 in the second half. Denver East just called their first timeout, so Fort Collins gets the first down, and they need essentially two more first downs before they can call this a game. See what the Lambkins come up with. Okay, they're going to line up. Shotgun. Dakness in the game. Split wides. Third and eight. Two running backs. Dakness hands off. No, he keeps it himself. He's going to run and turn up the field. He may have the first and more. Here he goes. He breaks it. Across the midfield to the 45 to the 44 yard line. is going for Dakness. That's how you do it, my friends. Nice play by the Lampkins. Clock stops at 159 for the first down. Four Collins, no, Denver East calls a second timeout. This game's just about in the books, my friends. Couple more runs and this is over. Collins breaks the huddle. Elmore and Dackness are in the backfield. Ben Meters in the slot. Kind of an H back formation. Shotgun formation. Hand off to Elmore. Got a lane. Off tackle. Gains about five yards. Clock runs. 145 left in the fourth quarter. It's going to be second and six. CJ Johnson checks in the game for Elmore. Lampkin should be in zero hurry here. Minute 20 left in the fourth quarter. Shotgun. Takes a snap. Hands off to Johnson up the middle. Dragon Kid's with him. He's not very big, but he's tough. Gain of maybe a yard. And... Denver East calls their last time out. With 1.11 left in the fourth quarter. It's going to be third and about five. Third and four, third and five. The score clock says four yards, but to me the, the marking looks like it's closer to five, but it doesn't matter. Mayhem goes out to console with the officials. Definitely got a plan. He's a master of the clock here. Lampkin three cuddle. Let's see if we got 
Agnes and Elmore in the backfield with Ben Meter in the East back slot. Third and four. Shotgun snap. Counter trade. Dagnus keeps it up the middle. Oh, and he gets stopped. Gain of one. It looked like he had a lane there, but the clock's going to run. My guess is that Lamb is going to run this down to one second left on the play clock and call timeout. I'm sure that's what Coach Yum was telling him. So it's going to be fourth and three. See what the lamp can see. Clock stopped at 38 seconds for some reason. Not here we go. Huh? Clock runs. 25 seconds left in the game. Four Collins calls timeout. They're gonna punt. Denver's starting to cheat over there, but we're on to him. They'll slide with the clock action over there. They stopped it at 38 seconds for, for a brief second, and I don't know why. Doesn't matter. We so, still have 25 seconds left in this game, but the Lampkins clinging to a one point lead. It's going to be fourth and three. Lampkins are going to go. They're lining up like they're going to go for it. Rolling into the dice just a tad here. Let's see what happens. Read option, maybe. Dakness in the shotgun. Oh, and Van Meter moves. They're trying to draw them off sides. Now oh, they're going to punt. They got a punt now. Looks like there's, there's still the offense on the field. I don't know what they're doing. Unless they're going to quick kick it. The Lampkins are going for the jugular here. Jackness keeps the ball, turns up field. It's going to be stopped short. So it's going to be a turnover on downs with 18 seconds left in the game. I'm surprised they didn't punt. So here we go, 18 seconds left in the game. Lampkins up by one point. You know Denver is going to pass the ball. Lampkins going to sit back in the zone. See what happens. Snap. Looks looks deep. Price is there. Nothing. 14 seconds left in the game. Good defense by the Lampkins. Second and 10 from the 40. I think they're just going to throw a deep ball again. Ben Varese lines up with trips to the right, solo on the left. Perfect pass. Get his hit. Up for grabs. Intercepts and Lampkins. DeMarco gets on the ground. It's a ball game. Put it in the books, baby. Quarterback took a shot. We got an injured Lampkin on the play. Quarterback took a shot. The ball came up short. Intercepted, ball game. Hopefully we don't have a serious injury out there though. Can't tell who it is. 
looks to be okay. Quincy Elmore. He's walking off under his own power. He's okay. Victory formation for one more play. And we'll have to put this in the books. We'll start the season off 1 0 with a tough win at Denver East. Good comeback win. Showed a lot of heart. Victory formation, the best formation there is in football. One snap and the game's over. And there we have it. And that's your ball game. Lampkins win. Start the year on a positive note. It looked dire, but they kept fighting, and they kept scrapping, and they came back and won this ball game. A little scrappy, a little chippy, but the lamp gets ball at the victory. So there you have it, folks. Your final score, Fort Collins 21, Denver East 20. No game next week. It's going to be an off week for the Lampkins. They'll be back at home on September 2nd against Mount Vista. Hopefully we have our streaming issues worked out then and we'll get it going. So thanks for watching and have a good night.